Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to use WhatsApp for business. Now, WhatsApp for business is a different app than WhatsApp, the regular messenger app. It's actually a standalone app dedicated for businesses. So it's not like Instagram where you change your personal account into a business account. You actually have to download this new app. So let's download the app. I wanna show you the setup process of the app and how to utilize this for your business. And if it's your first time here, I post easy to follow social media and tech videos every single day of the week with nearly 500 videos made so far. So please consider subscribing so you never miss the next great app or social media update. So this is finally available on iPhone. It's been available to Android for a while, but let me go ahead and get it on the iPhone here. It just got a worldwide release. So this is the very first page of the app once you download and open it here. Again, I'm showing you here on my iPhone. I'm gonna press continue. You could give it access to your contact if you want. In this case, I will not do that. And it's asking me if I want to use my phone number as my business number. I'm just gonna say, okay, use that number. I'll press next. It just has to validate and verify my phone number in this case. It's asking me to put a pin, so I'll put a pin to secure my account. Now it's gonna ask to put in my business name here and he pulled my profile picture looks like from my regular WhatsApp. So you could go ahead and edit that and make it more business appropriate. And you need to do business category. That is a required option here. I'll just pick entertainment here. This is actually best used for not a internet company like I'm using it here. It's best for small businesses. So if you deal with customers locally, this WhatsApp business is really intended more for that than what I'm trying to use it for here. And again, you could press edit here and go ahead and change your profile picture. Once you're done, those are the three things you have to fill out here, press done. And under chat it's actually things from my WhatsApp messenger app so it's pulled it here but the app looks exactly the same so if you go to status for example if you look on the bottom status call camera chat settings all the same but under settings this is where things are a little bit different so you'll see you'll have a business setting option here when you go to that settings page i'm gonna go ahead and press that so here under the business settings, there's a couple of things we should set. One is a greeting message and the other one is a way message. So greeting message could say, you could turn that on here and to everyone that sends you a message, it says, thank you for contacting Hotfinity. Please let us know how we can help. So that's the default message. You could obviously change that and change your recipients here to exclude people. And you could always turn it off if you don't want a greeting message, but this is great for people to get a message when they get here and you have your away message. You could turn that on if you're away. So it says, thanks for your message. We're not available. We'll, we'll get back to you again. You could edit that and you could have a quick reply. So if you just type in slash thanks, for example, it's going to do a quick reply here. You could always add quick reply by pressing the plus sign, type in the shortcut and the message for it and add it here and I'm gonna go back and you could always edit your profile here. So you could press edit and you could go ahead and add an address. You could change your category, add description and business hours and add your website. So I'm definitely wanna add my website here, affinity.com and I'm gonna press save and make sure you add as much as possible under that tab. And then you could go to short links and you could start promoting this page. Again, you have to start promoting this page. Otherwise, it's not going to be very useful. So you want to go ahead and click this short link here, copy it and start sharing it with people. And you could also create a default message. So you could copy this link, then I could share it with my customers. Again, this is great for a local business, not a internet website that I have. But I wanted to demonstrate it with this. I'll probably use my video production company to create an actual page once I'm done with this demonstration. And you could always go under status, click your status, press the pencil and add a new status. And now my status has been updated. I hope you found this WhatsApp for Business tutorial useful. Give it a try. Leave a comment in the description with some questions and if you're finding it useful. I think it's always great to get on new platforms when they're early and this is one of the earliest platforms for business available. It's a great way to connect with your customers. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Again, I post daily tech videos and I hope to catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.